if we look at a convex lens, a concave lens, I mean, where the uh, lens curves in toward the center, as we've seen before, the rays will come out of this lens and diverge. What does that do to parallel rays of light as they come into the lens? Well, if I move the pointer a little bit to the right or left, we see that the point on the screen accordingly moves to the right or left. Right, left. If I move back further, well, the point moves further to the right or left. So we can clearly see how the rays here are diverging. The focal point, if you're looking at an object from over here, an object in front of the lens, it will appear that the object is closer to the lens and smaller. And of course one of your exercises is to look through each of these lenses and see what you can make of them. Okay. Um, if I put a converging lens here in front of the diverging lens. I don't know if we're going to get to see anything or not because again our light source isn't very good. Right here I see the Dr. Pepper can coming into focus. It looks pretty small if I put my finger in the light. Uh, we don't see much of anything. Let's see, at least I thought I saw the Dr. Pepper can coming into focus. In any case, the idea is that the Dr. Pepper can will form an image closer to this diverging lens than it is and smaller. So it's as if the Dr. Pepper can is here and then the converging lens and let's put the converging lens back a little further here I think we're doing a lot better okay we can see the image focus well we can see the focal point and then we can move back and it's a little bit hard there it is now is that still in the screen okay I can read the Dr. Pepper can again but the image is different and at a different point than if I didn't have the diverging lens there. If I put the diverging lens in between, the image gets smaller. Take it away, it gets larger.